Number 31, the only force acting on a 2 kg body as it moves along a positive x-axis has an x component fx equal to minus 6 new, minus 6x newtons with x in meters. The velocity at x equals to 3 meters is equal to 80 meters per second. Letter A, what is the velocity of the body at x equals to 4 meters? Letter B, at what positive value of x will the body have a velocity of 5 meters per second? So in this case, we are going to use the work kinetic energy theorem, which is this one over here but we can write it as the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy, which, for instance, can be written as mvf squared over 2 minus mvi squared over 2. So what we want to find is, let's see, what is the velocity? Okay, so we want to find this value over here. We already have the initial value, so if we find the work done from 3 to 4 meters, then we can find this final velocity over here. So the only thing that we have to do for letter A is to find the work done by this force over here. And since this force changes, we can calculate the, its work by doing the integral from the initial position to the final position of fx the x and in, in and in our case for letter a it will be the integral from 3 to 4 of minus 6x dx and this gives us minus 6x squared over 2 from 3 to 4 and in this particular case, it's going to be minus 3 times 4 squared minus 3 squared, which is equal to minus 3 times 16 minus 9, which is equal to minus 21 joules. So in the first case, we have a work of minus 21 joules. So now we have the work, we just need to isolate the final uh, V over there. So let's just isolate it first. So let's see, we have two works over mass, which is equal to Vf squared minus Vi squared. So Vf is equal to two work over m plus Vi squared and the square root of everything. So we just need to replace the letters by the numbers. So it will be 2 times minus 21 over the mass, which is 2 kilograms, plus the initial velocity, which is 8, 8 squared. And this will give us roughly 6.6 .6 meters per second. So that's the answer of letter A, 6.6 .6 meters per second. As for letter B, we're going to use almost the same strategy as in here. However, now we know the velocity and we want to know x. Okay, so just let's just start with this work over here. And we're going to do the integral, but instead of replacing uh, xi and xf, let's just leave it as it is. So is going to be minus 6x dx and this will lead us to minus 3 the final position squared minus the initial position squared right that's the answer I guess yes that is that's the how we can calculate the work done by the force okay so we have this equation over here so the thing that we want to know is the final position. We do know the initial position and we know the final in initial speed. So let's start with this equation over here. So minus 3 final x squared minus the initial x squared is equal to m over 2, which multiplies vf squared minus vi 
squared so let's see if we have everything we have the initial position the initial and the final of velocities so yes we can find the final position so we just have to isolate it so it's going to be fx squared minus fi squared equals to minus m over 6 vf squared minus vi squared so send this to the other side so fx is equal to minus m over 6 vf squared minus vi squared plus xi squared and the square root of everything so now we just need to replace the letters by the numbers and then we have m which is 2 6 is 6 the final velocity is 5 the initial velocity is 8 plus the initial position which is 3 okay so if you make this calculation you would find 4.7 meters which is the answer of letter B